Hi, this is Catherine Raker of Born Before 64, and today we're going to do a hot air balloon experience. And I'm here today with Bob Rodenbaugh from Balloon Adventures. Hi, Bob. How are you? Very good. You know what? Um, I've never done this before, and I'm just a little bit apprehensive about going in this hot air balloon. You know, I used to fly. So this should be simpler, right? Hot air balloon is a great experience. You're going to love it. We I am going to love great it. weather today, and the winds are just perfect for us. Okay. So I'm um, looking forward to flying with you. Okay, now let me ask a question. What's the first thing you have to do to prepare to do the flight pattern first, or whatever we're going to be doing? The first thing we do is check weather with flight service. Okay. Uh, once we do that, then we have our high-tech wind gauge here to see which direction we're going out. Okay. Because you cannot steer a balloon, so um, we can need to know in the general direction we're going to make sure that there's landing spots available in that direction. How high are we going to go today? Generally, we'll be flying at about 1,000 feet, 1,500 okay. feet. Okay, 1,500 feet. So are you going to test this balloon right now? Yeah, we're going to let this go, and this is going to tell us which way we're going to be heading this evening. Okay, let's find out where. Okay, there it goes. Uh-oh, looks like we're going that way. We're going to be going... Towards north. north. <laughs> okay, now we've got a chase car, don't we? We have this is a chase vehicle. Okay. Um, and we have our chase crew that will be following us along the route. They're going to help us set it up. Once we launch, they will just kind of stay in front of us. Um, and then as we land, they will be there to help us pack up. Now, how long will we be actually on the balloon or in the balloon? The flight will be about 45 minutes to an hour long. 45 minutes to an hour long. And am I going to help you in any way, or are they going to do all the work? Nope. You, you're you welcome to help us. Oh, okay. Uh, set up the balloon and inflate it. Uh, we'll be glad to give you some gloves okay. and show you what to do. Okay. Now if you grab this, and all you need to do is just hold this kind of one hand here. There you go. One hand here and one hand here. Actually, let this hand go. About like that, yeah. Okay. And then we can get to you. It's not going to blow me away or anything, is it? Nope. Okay. All right. Now we're going to start the fans. <laughs> it starts cold air inflated. Once it's cold air inflated, I'll be putting heat to it and the balloon will climb. Once I get it stabilized, then I'll say passengers are ready and we'll have you climb in the balloon. Okay. All right. Oh, here.
Just about there. Oh, we're there. there you go. I love it in about 30 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, we landed safely. Oh, I can't believe how much fun it really was. No air currents. It didn't move in the air. And I'm now, I'm safely on the ground. now I'm safely on the ground. Thanks, Bob. I can't thank you enough. Great flight. And I'll tell you what, that was the most fabulous flight I've ever taken. And you know, Bob, I was really scared when we first got into the uh, actual basket. But once we got up there, what surprised me was that there was no turbulence. It was just so soft. And it just felt like you were just in the clouds or something. It was really cool. Yeah, but, so the neat thing about a hot air balloon is that we're going with the wind. So, so there's no there turbulence. No turbulence. Uh, there's no bouncing around, rocking, or anything like that. Uh, it's just very calm, except for the burners going off every so often. Right, and I and I really like the idea. Now, tell me why the. I mean, you need to keep the heat into the the actual balloon, right? Yep, that's what keeps us afloat. Um, right. And so every you know minute, thirty seconds, forty seconds, depending on how fast we're moving, we have to keep hitting the burners to keep replacing the heat that is cooling down, right. so that we maintain our lift. Right. Now, I I want that our camera guy to, to show what the what the balloon looks like now because actually they're you're packing it up right yeah, what we're doing now is just disassembling it uh, we have a squeezer which we squeezed all the air out of it right and then we put our straps around it and we uh, take our bag there and start putting it back in the bag uh -huh. they're now starting to disconnect the cables from the basket they'll then flip the basket up and right. take the burners down uh -huh. um, and it'll all fit back in the basket which then we'll put it back in the trailer here now my my next question is, um, how much fuel do you need to do that 45 minute at this time of year, which is fall? Yeah, great question. Um, we carry 40 gallons of fuel on board. Um, there's okay. uh, four tanks in, in this balloon here. Different balloons have different size tanks. Now, is that butane? It's uh, propane. 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 Okay. So tonight's flight, we went through probably about 30, 35 gallons of fuel. Right. 